Hey everybody, here I am again to this time talk about developing quantitative portfolio management hypotheses and strategies. In this series, I will briefly go through two primary research lines that will be expanded into the future. One, understanding asset correlation, and two, building a risk-neutral portfolio. The good news are that recently DarwinX announced that the first integration phase with Interactive Brokers has been completed. Therefore, you can now just open an account via the DarwinX platform on Interactive Brokers and trade there. In this initial phase, we are offering US stocks, the same ones that you can find in the DarwinX assets and spreads link that you can find in the description of this video. Because of that, the initial research of this content line will use US stocks. Let's analyze each research line so that you understand what you are about to see in the following videos. One. Understanding Asset Correlation Asset correlation is a measure of how assets move in relation to one another. When assets move in the same direction at the same time, they are considered to be positively correlated. When one asset tends to move up and the other one goes down, the two assets are considered to be negatively correlated. Assets that don't show any kind of relationship to each other are non-correlated. The second research line is building a risk-neutral portfolio. The vast universe of active assets gives us the ability to construct a very diversified portfolio and be capable of generating strategies with high capacity. In this particular case, and as previously said, I am going to use the 200 plus US stocks that are available in the DarwinX and Interactive Brokers integration. In this video, I will start by understanding and explaining asset correlation to then move forward into creating a risk neutral portfolio. To understand correlation in numbers, a correlation of zero means that the returns of assets are completely unrelated. If two assets are considered to be non-correlated, the price movement of one asset has no effect on the price movement of the other asset. If there is zero correlation or negative, one asset will go up when the other one is down, and vice versa. In terms of diversification of a portfolio, in order to reduce the overall risk as a first objective, investing in asset combinations that are not correlated is the optimal approach. However, you need to bear in mind that correlation between assets can change with time and even looking at different time frames as we are basing our analysis in the historical performance of those assets. As I have detailed in previous videos, financial markets and health financial time series are complex and dynamic. That's why correlation studies need to be taken with a pinch of salt, and there has to be an active monitoring of the metrics in order to be prepared for any potential change that could harm our portfolio. Although true non-correlation is a rare thing to find in actual markets, you can create Pretty robust portfolios if your asset universe is big enough and you actively manage it. However, and as I said, you need to take into account many other factors, even black swan events that could change the correlation relationships. If you are excited to go forward, you can just check our GitHub repository and look at the different code samples, plots, and data files. I will also leave it in the description. Stay tuned for more and see you soon.